O, and 3. O for 3. That's what happened yesterday. To all the homecoming games of the Tigers who got beat down. The Indians put up a good fight. And the Mutt Hens get destroyed. All that on a Tuesday. Today is a different day. It's a lot nicer outside. Still cool. Comfortable. Great weather outside. But come inside. And enjoy another episode of this great show. Called All Andy Alford. Right here on Clayfan 2-3. Keep on with the theme! War that we need to get back into the winning page for the Tigers, the Indians, and the Mud Hens. Oh, love you guys, and welcome in to this Wednesday, July 30th edition. Oh, Andy Alfred, right here on your exclusive home for me, Clayton Man 2 3. Hi, everybody. This is Andy Alfred coming to you from the beautiful Man Game Studios on East Toledo, Ohio. It is a pleasure to be with you guys here on this. Wednesday edition of the program. Got a lot to get into. Of course, we're going to talk NHL news as well as ECHL news, too. We got some stories on that. NFL's training camp is in session. We'll talk a little bit about that as well, too. But let's talk about what happened on the Diamond last night and starting in the Motor City. Sanchez. This this new pitcher that we got, I forget his name, Joaquin Soria. Can we return him? Is he? Is there, there a thirty day policy on him? Cause he's stinking up the place. He is really stinking up the place. I cannot stand horrible pitching. Can we return him? A thirty day policy. He's horrible. Back to back home runs by Dunn and Abreu, or vice versa. I don't care. We lost 11 to 4 to the White Sox. 11 to 4, and the White Sox are close to last place. They're in fourth place. Tigers lost 11 to 4, like I said. Cantana gets the win. He goes to 6 and 7 with a 3.15 ERA. Anibal Sanchez gets the loss. He's now 7 to 5 with a 3.57 ERA. No home runs hit in the game. Dunn and Abreu. Abreu, his 31st home run of the season. Adam Dunn, his 16th. The Tigers will try to get back on the winning page, and we have a good chance to get back onto the winning page as well, too, with Mac, Max Scherzer on the hill, 12-3 with a 3.37 ERA. He's been lights out as of late. He'll take on Luis 
who is 5 and 6 with a 4.37 ERA, 7.08 start time on Fox Sports Detroit. The concluding game on Thursday will be uh, John Danks, 9 and 6 with a 4.40 ERA, taking on Drew Smiley. Smiley, 6 and 9 with a 3.77 ERA, 108 start time for that. We will be on post game to that game tomorrow afternoon. Well, let's look on the other side of the lake before coming back to Toledo. In Cleveland, Iroquois looking dominant as of late, and Bauer could not get out of the fourth inning without giving up a big runs in the game. And and the Mariners of Frazier Crane and Seattle Mariners get a win five to two. Iroquois gets the win. He goes to nine and five with a three point oh six ERA. Trevor Bauer gets the loss. He goes to four and six with a four point two five ERA. Zuno homered his 16th of the season. And Fernando Rodney, 29th save of the season for the Mariners at Progressive Field. Now, tonight it is a great pitching matchup. And on the, on, in the car at Carnegie Way it is Hernandez on the hill. He's 11 and 2 with a 1.99 ERA. He'll take on Corey Kluber, who's 10 and 6 with a 2.77 ERA. 7.05 start time for that one. The concluding game on Thursday. It will be Chris Young on the hill. He's 9-6 with a 3.04 ERA. He'll take on Zach McAllister, who's 3-6 with a 5.65 ERA. All games you can watch on Fox Sports Time. Oh, hey -o. Other notable games in the major leagues yesterday. Baltimore was a winner 7-6 over the Angels, coming in behind with a Manny Machado walk-off home run. Cincinnati was a winner 3-0 over the Arizona Diamondbacks. Tampa Bay 5, Milwaukee 1. The Phillies were a winner 6-0 over the New York Mets. Toronto was a winner 4-2 over Boston. And now we hear about John Lester will probably be traded. That is confirmed. We do not know the team yet, but he has been pulled and he's been scratched from his next start, which is supposed to be this evening. He has been pulled, so we hope that John Lester is on his way out. We'll find out probably in the next couple of days where he's going to be going, of course. The Red Sox, I think, are going to be sellers because of the fact that they're not doing well. They're the defending champions. They're in the East. They're not, they're not getting any pieces. I'd like to see Lester go to Miami. Miami needs a starting pitcher. And Miami's got young talent. A nice trade with them would be a really good pickup for them. Speaking of Miami, they were winner three to nothing over the Washington Nationals. Colorado was a loser four to three to the Cubbies at the on the north side of Chicago at Wrigley Field. It took sixteen innings. The New York Yankees were a winner twelve to eleven to share with a home run in that affair. Minnesota was a winner two to one over the Kansas City Royals. Oakland seven, Houston four. The Dodgers were a winner eight to four over the Atlanta Braves. San Diego three, St. Louis one, and the Pittsburgh Pirates picking up a big win three to one. They. Giants have lost six straight so far after the sweep and this two-game loss against Pittsburgh going for the th win tonight in Pit against San Francisco is Pittsburgh. Now looking at the American League Central standings going forward to tonight's games, this is what's happening. Detroit is 57-46, and 4-6 and six in their last 10. The differential is 30 plus 36. Kansas City is 53-52, and 52, five games out, 5-5 five and five in the last 10. They're a negative 2. Cleveland is 52 and 54, six and a half out, three and seven in their last ten. They are a plus three. Chicago is 52 and 55, seven games out of first place, six and four in their last ten. Their run differential, is, the difference is a negative ten. Minnesota is 48 and 57, ten games out, four and six in their last ten. They are a negative 41. Well, we headed down to 406 Washington Boulevard to welcome back the Mud Hens, and the Mud Hens. The first, all right, I want to talk about this. First five innings were brilliant by Derek Hankins. Hankins pitched a beautiful game through the first five innings. Then the sixth inning started. Two runs. Mudhens had a one nothing lead. Two runs. Next inning. Hankins, three runs. It ended up being 7-3 to three the final. Stinson gets the win for Norfolk. He goes to two and four with a six point one seven. Hankins was, you know, I, t I told you yesterday if you're gonna go to the game, go early because you see a lot of runs. I was surprised that Hankins did a really right job the first the first few innings. Blew it out of the water in the sixth inning. Horrible outing for him. He's now five and eleven with a five point six nine ERA. Stinson gets the win, 
two and four, six point one seven. De Jesus and Padres homered for Norfolk. Time of the game three hours even eight thousand three hundred and thirty eight went to the turnstiles at four oh six Washington Boulevard. Now tonight the Mudhens will have Robbie Ray on the hill. He's a very solid pitcher, former Detroit Tigers six and four with a three point six zero ERA. He'll take on Wright, who is tw who is two and nine with a six point one six ERA. Thursday will be Bell for a three and five with a three point one six ERA, taking on Wilson from Norfolk, who's two and zero with a two point three five three ERA. And the concluding game will be has not yet decided yet, but we're project projecting it will be Kyle Lobstein, who's seven and ten with a four point one one ERA. We'll take on Jones, who's 6-6 six six with a 4.07 ERA. All games at 7 o'clock. All games on Buckeye Cable Sports Network and 1230 WCWA and iHeart Radio Station. Thursday is Leon Bull Durham Bobblehead Giveaway. Get the, get those available. As well as tonight is Hump Day. They'll have all festivities down there, parties, and so much more. So go down to the ballpark. It's going to be a nice evening for that. Looking at the IL West standings going into today's play, Columbus leads the division. They are 58 and 53, four and six in their last ten. Indianapolis is 57 and 55, half a game, a game and a half out, two and eight in their last ten. Louisville is 54 and 57, four games out, four and six in their last ten. And Toledo is in last place. They're four and a half out, 54, 58, three and seven in the last ten. And I want to get into this breaking story that was coming in from the. From the Detroit Free Press, and it was reported also on uh, 13 ABC. Evan Reed, 28 years old, a pitcher for the Toledo Mudhens, formerly of the Detroit Tigers, is being charged with sexual assault in the third degree in Detroit. In March, he was dead. He was he was accused of drugging a drink at Motor City Casino to this woman and sexually assaulting her. And that could be some major, major issues going forward for this Mudhen rotation and also in the Tiger organization as well, too. How bad that the Tigers went through with Miguel Cabrera and the whole situation with him hitting his wife and being the whole situation with that, it's different than what Evan Reed. Evan Reed, they won't pay attention to that. I will. That rotation is not the rotation, but the bullpen is what we need. And a key piece like Evan Reed being missed out of the lineup, that's going to be something to that's going to be something to really, really be hurting for the team. Some news and notes going on here on the 30th of July, starting off on the on the pond in the ECHL. Jason Betts will re-sign with the Idaho Steelhead. Fort Wayne has re-signed Sean Samotsky, defensive player, and also the Walleye Winterfest tickets are available by calling 419725 Wall. Or also walleye season tickets are available too. We're getting ready for October. The countdown is beginning. In the NHL, Matt Gardner for the Toronto Maple Leafs has signed a five-year deal with the with the Blue Shirts. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, it's going to be a big deal for them. Uh, Winnipeg signs Matt Horiska to a two-way deal with the Winnipeg Jets, and Dwight King has agreed to a contract with the L.A. Kings. NFL news for you today. Uh, of course, the big story right now, besides Johnny Football, of course, Patrick Peterson sending a five-year, $70 million extension with the Arizona Cardinals. And Johnny Football right now, you know, we're hearing a lot of rumors about, you know, Hoyer is looking very good. That's a good sign. We haven't heard anything yet out of the Lions camp of how they're going to be doing, but I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be fine. I want to say, I want to say, I want to make my projection, but I won't make my projection just yet on the season for both the Browns and the Lions. Stick around for that. And uh, NBA news, uh, Shelly Sterling winning the case to still sell the team. Uh, Donald Sterling has filed an appeal in the process with that as well, too. Derek Rose is going to be on Team USA in their World Cup bid. In basketball, and he's a little rusty, is what what we're reporting from from the Associated Press, to say the least. Um, tomorrow on the program, it is our trade deadline special. At four o'clock tomorrow, it will be the end of the trade deadline. Of course, yours truly will be here. We will be breaking down the whole situation of what's going on in the trade deadline and the trade rumors as well too. And uh, we're planning on having Nick Devera, the baseball hipster, to come into the studio and talk baseball with us 
tomorrow on the program. So if you have any questions, follow me on Twitter. It is at all Andy Alford. We'll get those questions sent over to Nick so he can read them on the air for you guys tomorrow. So follow us on our Twitter page is at all Andy Alford or comment underneath the show. We'll make sure you get all your questions answered. He's been touring around a lot the camps and hearing a lot of the rumors. Stay with us right here as he's the baseball hipster Nick DeBera. Joining us on the program tomorrow on Thursday's edition of All India for Recommendations. Of course, the Mud Hens are in action. Go get, see the Mud Hens tonight. They'll continue their three games left of this homestand before hitting back on the road to take on Indianapolis. And of course, we're going to confirm it now. There is a really good opportunity chance that the Mud, that we will be going to Cleveland on Tuesday to see the Indians battle the Reds in the Ohio Cup. We'll get you the details as they come available. Until tomorrow when we have our big trade deadline. Of course, the Tigers are in action tonight. Go Tigers! Back in the wing column. Let's go! Try them in action tonight to beat the Frazier Cranes and Cafe Narosa. And let's go Hens. Until tomorrow, I love you guys. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. Oh, pulling for you. We're all in this together. The game of life. And to the teams behind me. And to your team that you root for at home as well. The victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a great evening, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for another edition of All E.D. Alford. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Wow.